Hi Scorpios, welcome to my channel. I lost my voice, please. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Maybe someone wants to talk to you or you want to talk to someone, talk to them, okay? Mm. We're not gonna lose our voice, okay? So this is your crossover. How does it work? Okay, why do we have this? That's one question. I want it. No, um, because in sidereal astrology, in Vedic, okay, aqua planets, okay, the sun shifts during the time. So the sun enters Scorpio on the 17th. Uh, so if you look at an app, it's called a sky app, not the dating app, okay? That doesn't guide you the stars. That gives you the wrong stars, I'm kidding. It looks at it and then you will see, okay, oh, the sun just entered Scorpio. That's how it is. So it's not even an argue who's, where the planet is. You just look at it, okay? So that's where it is. Mm. So that's why I do this. It's, it's crosses over because it's actually the month. That's your month, okay? Now I understand. I'll explain this to each of the zodiac. We're still doing intuitive, but just for a change, okay? Should I do the girl deck or this one? See, I'm not biased with my own products. I'm biased with the glamour box though, okay? <laughs> I got the girl deck there. But we're gonna start off first with one oracle card. Let's get one oracle card for the Scorpio. So this is the celebrants, the birthday celebrants of the Scorpio, okay? It's your birthday, okay? It's your birthday. Hey, shorty. Okay. Let's see for the Scorpios. So this stretches basically towards uh, December, okay? That's how it works. Here we go. Imagine. Okay, imagine. Nothing is lit. You can never um, have any kind of limitations right now. Whatever you imagine, it's up to you to go get it. If you can think it, then you can have it. Because imagine, okay, there is no, it doesn't cost anything. Keep dreaming, keep believing, okay. So, well, that's something that we can all have, basically. Whatever you're manifesting, number 20 is here. You're coming out, okay, you're coming out clear, you're coming out clean. You probably have let go, you have transformed, you've changed, you're new. It's so new, you're so fresh. You could just probably just came out of the shower. Okay. That's good right there. That's your article card. Okay. Let's begin. Okay. So let's sit down. If it's a movie in your season, Scorpio, I sense made in Manhattan. Okay. Yes, big fan of JLo because she's everywhere. You become a fan when everybody's when I mean, it's the whole new thing that we've seen. <laughs> so, but I mean, we love J-Lo. Oh, uh, so, um, we love everyone. Uh, but it's a movie. That's what I'm seeing here for you. Made in Manhattan. Uh, you could be from New York, but you don't have to be in New York. So if, you don't, if you're not familiar with the movie, J-Lo was a maid and she was in Manhattan. She was a housekeeper and she was, uh, you know, she, she got into a date, a fortunate accident with a senator, a public figure. Okay, so that's someone in son in the 10th house talking about right there public figure son in the 10th house um can be okay or son in the first house aspect the 10 can be doesn't add son does not aspect the 10 but it can be a son in aries their exaltation also um public service it could be connecting with someone as a public servant we're already starting with the read okay um i just feel though that this movie it's because she was not that she was nothing she was a humble person she was a single mom you could be resonating you're a single dad a single mama Okay. And you were with, you know, it's like you were with what? One kid right there. Okay. That kid became the werewolf kid. So you'll be raising a werewolf now. <laughs> uh, so, mm -hmm. that kid is a problem then, huh? No kidding. So you're coming out as that, as that energy. Okay. That's what I'm feeling. Coming out of, uh, you know, it's like 
But it, this is, did they wind up together? See, that I didn't, I can't remember. I'm not sure if they wind up together. I just know that it became so difficult, just like your love life. You know, it's like things would be so magical and then things would also be tragic. I know she got found out because that girl who she got the dress from outed her. Okay. Could have been a third party that you were involved in and tried to separate the two of you. Okay. We're just getting to the feels here. Okay. But I'm also seeing here out with the old, in with the new. Okay. Out with the old, in with the new. Person you're dealing with could probably have smoke. Like they like to smoke cigarettes or something like that. Mm -hmm. Or you do. Someone here likes to is to go on an escape. Maybe you're planning on a vacation. You're 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 just let me go to your chart also. Okay. I set it at November 17. Uh, November 16. This one, this calendar. At this time, the sun is in Scorpio. It's zero degrees. It's a uh, um, and Venus is 24 degrees. If you if you if you care about those placements. Okay. Mercury is still in retrograde at this time. Mars is in Libra. There's an energy that you want to travel, but you feel restricted. Mm -hmm. Your money right now is slowly expanding with your savings right here, I can tell. Mm -hmm. This is a, The sidereal astrology is applicable to Ascendant and Moon. Um, you have cut off some family members around you. You've cut off people around you. You've let go of a lot of things material-wise. Surrounding wise, you've removed things. Mm -hmm. There's someone here who's a Cancerian who is very confused with you right now. A Taurus wants to be with you a lot, wants to be with you forever. A Libra who is trying to figure out how they can come towards you, Scorpio. A Sagittarius who wants to be next to you. Who will you pick <laughs> at the fall? You. Reborn, rebirth. I knew you. Ah, that's so you. Look at that. Love it. Living for this Scorpio. Look at that. Coming out. I'm coming out. Want the world to know. Mm -hmm. That's the fool card. You're coming out to the world. You're a new person. Every time we go to our, you know, solar return, it's a time for us to celebrate. You're celebrating life. That's good. Celebrating life. That's the full card. There is a Gemini who you cannot get. It's right here. <laughs> Let me see here. So you are obsessing with a Gemini also. There's something about this Gemini that you cannot figure you out. It's funny, it looks like the dress in Made in Manhattan. Okay, well, it was white and it was pearly, but this one, I just feel like it's the same. Let it be, okay? So it's not white, that's floral. Okay. Let me be, okay? I'm the reader. <laughs> so, I'm obsessed with the Gemini. You can't have the Gemini. What else? Mm -hmm. Where's the Leo, Scorpio? Where's the Leo? I don't know, Sam. So. I don't know. You don't know. We'll find out. Who will you pick? Is it the younger water sign? The fool with the page of cups. Someone got your attention. I want to offer you love. Follow me and be dangerous. This is what the Scorpio is. Follow me to the edge of the world with the fool card. You want to be with me? Are you ready to be with me? Because I'm all new and I'm ready. Whoever is out there, Sam, so I'll take it. That's the fool risk taker. The devil. The risk. Okay. And let's get the other one too. I'm excited in that one. Four of Pentacles. Okay. And I said the risk taker. You're, there's people around you. It can be just a Capricorn, of course. Um, there is this younger water sign who's so much all about you, obsessing about you, maybe Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio also. They've been trying to hold on to you for the longest time, and you've been trying to separate yourself for the longest time. Okay. Person is spellbound. 
Mm -hmm. Person cannot get enough of that intimate connection. You rock their world. Understandable, you rule the eighth house. What is it about you that you always want to know every little detail? Because you're out there, the full card. You're trying to figure out how the world works, what is astrology, what is tarot, what is the occultism, what is what is it about, you know? Because that's the full card. You're diving deep into your to who you really are. You're becoming more and more connected to your gift. The person, the other person that you're connecting with is, let me see here. They just can't seem to let you go. Page of Pentacles here. They keep trying. They want to say an apology to you. They want to reach out. Okay. Got that. They want to reach out. Six of Pentacles. I really feel like you are just the full card. You're being free. Like, I, I do what I want with my life. Let them follow. They always do. They're addicted to me. They always is. Six of Pentacles. They want to reach out. They always want to reach out. But I don't care anymore. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit during your season. So use this wisely. Someone is begging for your attention. Because you gave up on it. Long time ago, Sal. Long time ago. Long time ago. I got betrayed. I got cheated. I got I got I got I got shank, Sal. I wasn't careful. I went to a back alley. Mm-hmm. Mm. I went to a back alley. There you go. Got shank. You went to the part of Manhattan where nobody should be. It's because, you know, that's called Times Square. <laughs> it's just too much people. <laughs> okay. Too much people. Okay. Ten of swords. Okay. I face my own death and I accept it. I transform my change. Every time I keep changing, nobody can figure me out. Because the next day, I'm totally different. Mm -hmm. As far as like, I can be obsessive, I can also be detached. There is no mid with the Scorpio. It's a very unpredictable house. They will love you, they will hate you. They will love you, they will hate you. But they will never be not clear about it. I like you, you're mine. I hate you, get the F out. So you're, ha you're that. Is it unpredictable? No, it's so predictable. A Scorpio will love you if they do. So if they're not about you, they're not about you. Ace of Wands, the connection that this person is obsessing is how you rock their world. You are the rock star for this person. Mm -hmm. You're the only person that can make them feel bonkers. You still have it. You always do. Bonkers. You rock their world. You know that this is intimate also, right? And this is phallic. Mm. Why they are obsessing? Because how you have rocked their world. You've brought them to their own awakening. They don't know you're so unpredictable. They cannot just get enough of you. It's almost like I've never had it. Okay, But they say well, your first hit, you will always chase an addiction. I'm not making fun of addiction, but I heard about it. Okay, Just to be PC about this. They say, you know, it's like that's why it's always free. The first line or the first thing. It's like you so you give this person the freebie. Now you know. <laughs> Sorry, you're addicted to me. Okay. You're, you can be a very addictive zodiac. And this is what this person is having. But the problem is, you're not addicted to them. Because you're free from your own addiction. You know when the intimacy is good, you go for it. But you also know when someone was being intimate with multiple people, then that's not good. I accept my own death. I release myself. Bye. The full card. Goodbye. They're not goodbye. They want you. They hold on to you. They cling on to you. They want to connect again. They want to reach out. That's your season. I love it. You know you do. <laughs> You're not about rainbows and butterflies. You were never rainbows and butterflies. Leave it to the Piscean. That's their terms. Leave it to the Page of Cups, who's still dreaming about you. Leave it to the Taurus, who's obsessing about you. But the question is, where's the Leo? I know you're waiting. 
We'll see in the extended. I'll see you guys there. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Congratulations, it's your birthday. If I see you in the meetup, make sure you holler at me because we know Sal is a holler back girl. Because I ain't no holler back. I'll be there. Bye.